Welcome to Better Together. My name is Callie Barbie from Brock United Methodist, and these are my two youngest kids, Abby and Celie Barbie, and we're here to talk to you a little bit today about the legend of the pretzel. So according to the legend of the pretzel, around 610 AD, a monk was making a special treat for kids to help them remember prayers. And so the pretzel was formed in dough, and it was supposed to remind people about crossing their arms. Now, whenever Just we like pray, this one. yes, whenever we pray, you can think of your hands like this. You can interlock them like this. But another part of tradition is sometimes to cross your arms whenever you're praying. So does a pretzel look a little bit like crossed arms? It does. So a fun way that you can uh, talk about this with your kiddos is you can get some Play-Doh. You can make a nice little long snake, so to speak. You lay it down. You take the top two. You twist them together. And you lay it down. And whenever like you so. do that, you create interlocking arms that help remind people about prayer and the importance of it in our lives. You can also do this activity with kids by creating a snack or a treat that involves pretzels. Who likes pretzels? I don't know. Who likes pretzels, Seely? Me! <laughs> well, whichever way you decide to do it, we encourage you to do an activity that reminds your kids how important prayer is in their lives. Because whether it's something that we memorize or it's something that we speak freely to God every day, it's something that we should be doing in order for us to be able to talk to God. So what does the pretzel represent again, kiddos? Um, Our arms folded in. Prayers. Prayers, that's right. So I hope you guys have a great week and enjoy. Bye, everybody. Now can I eat the pretzel?